Question 1. What is the primary cause of motorcycle collisions? A. Road conditions. B. Rider error. C. Mechanical failure. Answer. B. Rider error. The majority of motorcycle collisions are caused by rider error. Riders must be constantly aware of their surroundings and ride defensively. Question 2. When should you use your signals? A. Only when other traffic is present. B. Only when turning. C. Anytime you plan to change lanes or turn. Answer. C. Anytime you plan to change lanes or turn. It's important to use your signals every time you plan to change lanes or turn, regardless of traffic, to alert others of your intentions. Question 3. When riding at night, you should A. Reduce your speed B. Use your high beams at all times C. Only use your low beams Answer A. Reduce your speed At night, it's harder to see and be seen, so reducing your speed is crucial for safety. Question 4. True or false? A motorcycle rider must always wear a helmet. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Wearing a helmet is mandatory for motorcycle riders in British Columbia. Question 5. What is the safest part of the lane for a motorcycle? A. The left portion. B. The center portion. C. It varies depending on the situation. Answer. C. It varies depending on the situation. The safest part of the lane can change due to road conditions, traffic, and other factors. Question 6. In a group of motorcycles, how should riders be positioned? A. In a side-by-side -side formation. B. In a single file line. C. In a staggered formation. Answer. C. In a staggered formation. This allows for better visibility and space cushioning. Question 7. Fill in the blank. Blank is especially important for motorcycle riders as they are more vulnerable in crashes. A. Aggressive riding. B. Defensive riding. C. Speeding. Answer. B. Defensive riding. Defensive riding techniques are crucial for motorcyclists due to their vulnerability. Question 8. When approaching a curve, you should A. Accelerate throughout the curve. B. Slow down before entering the curve. C. Maintain a constant speed throughout the curve. Answer. B. Slow down before entering the curve. It's safest to slow down before a curve and then gradually accelerate out of it. Question 9. True or false? Motorcycle riders are allowed to lane split in British Columbia. A. True. B. False. Answer. B. False. Lane splitting is not allowed in British Columbia. Question 10. The C strategy stands for A. Search, evaluate, execute. B. Signal, enter, exit. C. Search, enter, exit. Answer. A. Search, evaluate, execute. This strategy helps riders make safe decisions on the road. Question 11. How often should you check your motorcycle's tire pressure? A. Once a month. B. Before every ride. C. Only when tires look flat. Answer. B. Before every ride. Tire pressure can greatly affect a motorcycle's handling, so it should be checked before every ride. Question 12. When carrying a passenger, the rider should. A. Instruct the passenger on proper riding techniques. B. Expect the motorcycle to handle the same. C. Ride faster to compensate for the added weight. Answer. A. Instruct the passenger on proper riding techniques. Passengers should know where to hold, how to lean, and other riding tips. Question 13. True or false? Wearing bright or reflective clothing can make you more visible to other drivers. A. True. B. False. 
Answer A. True. Bright or reflective clothing can greatly increase a rider's visibility. Question 14. When stopped at a red light, you should position your motorcycle. A. In the center of the lane. B. To the far left or right of the lane. C. It doesn't matter as long as you're in the lane. Answer. B. To the far left or right of the lane. This can help prevent a rear-end collision by providing an escape route. Question 15. The two-second rule is used to A. Determine the minimum following distance B. Calculate stopping distance C. Time traffic lights Answer A. Determine the minimum following distance. Keeping a two-second buffer between you and the vehicle in front can provide a safe following distance. Question 16. To prevent fatigue during a long ride, you should A. Take regular breaks B. Drink caffeine C. Ride faster to shorten the trip Answer A. Take regular breaks Regular breaks can help prevent fatigue and keep you alert. Question 17. The clutch on a motorcycle is used to A. Stop the bike B. Control the throttle C. Engage and disengage the gears. Answer. C. Engage and disengage the gears. The clutch allows for smooth gear changes. Question 18. True or false? Motorcycles are allowed to occupy a full lane. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Motorcycles are entitled to occupy a full lane, just like any other vehicle. Question 19. When riding in strong winds, you should A. Lean into the wind B. Stop and wait for the wind to pass C. Ride in the center of the lane only Answer A. Lean into the wind Leaning can help counteract the force of the wind. Question 20. Fill in the blank. Riding with blank can impair your ability to operate a motorcycle safely. A. A passenger. B. Alcohol or drugs. C. A helmet. Answer. B. Alcohol or drugs. Riding under the influence greatly impairs judgment and reaction times. Question 21. When approaching a railroad crossing, you should... A. Speed up to cross quickly. B. Stop, look, and listen for trains. C. Cross at an angle. Answer. C. Cross at an angle. Crossing tracks at an angle can prevent the motorcycle's wheels from getting caught. Question 22. What is counter-steering? A. Turning the handlebars in the opposite direction you want to go. B. Leaning the motorcycle without turning the handlebars. C. Steering normally. Answer. A. Turning the handlebars in the opposite direction you want to go. Counter steering is a technique used to initiate a lean for turning at higher speeds. Question 23. True or false? You should always check your blind spots before changing lanes. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Checking blind spots is essential for safety, as motorcycles have smaller profiles and can be easily missed. Question 24. The best way to stop quickly in an emergency is to A. Use only the front brake. B. Use only the rear brake. C. Use both brakes together. Answer. C. Use both brakes together. Using both brakes provides the most stopping power. Question 25. When riding over a slippery surface, you should A. Apply brakes and accelerate. B. Keep the motorcycle upright and proceed slowly. C. Speed up to get over it quickly. Answer. B. Keep the motorcycle upright and proceed slowly. It's important to be gentle with inputs on slippery surfaces. Question 26. Motorcycle helmets should be replaced. A. Every 10 years. B. After any crash. 
C. When they get dirty. Answer B. After any crash. Helmets can be damaged in a crash, even if it's not visible. Question 27. To increase your visibility to other drivers, you should A. Use your high beams during the day. B. Wear dark clothing. C. Ride in the blind spots of other vehicles. Answer. A. Use your high beams during the day. High beams can make you more visible to other drivers. Question 28. True or false, you should only use your mirrors when changing lanes. A. True. B. False. Answer. B. False. You should use your mirrors regularly to maintain awareness of your surroundings. Question 29. When riding in a group, the least experienced rider should be positioned. A. In the front. B. In the middle. C. At the end. Answer. B. In the middle. This allows the less experienced rider to be surrounded by more experienced riders for guidance. Question 30. Fill in the blank. Blank. Can be more difficult for motorcyclists to navigate due to reduced tire contact. A. Wet roads. B. Straight roads. C. Dry roads. Answer. A. Wet roads. Wet roads can reduce traction and make riding more challenging. Question 31. What should you do when being passed by a large vehicle? A. Move to the center of the lane. B. Move to the side of the lane being passed on. C. Speed up. Answer. A. Move to the center of the lane. This can help reduce the effects of turbulence. Question 32. True or false. You should maintain a longer following distance when carrying a passenger. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. A passenger adds weight, which can affect stopping distance. Question 33. If your motorcycle starts to wobble, you should A. Accelerate out of the wobble B. Apply the brakes hard C. Grip the handlebars firmly and ease off the throttle Answer C. Grip the handlebars firmly and ease off the throttle. This can help regain stability. Question 34. When parked at the roadside, you should park A with your front tire touching the curb, B, with your motorcycle at a 45 degree angle to the curb, C, parallel to the curb. Answer, B, with your motorcycle at a 45 degree angle to the curb. This increases visibility and stability. Question 35. To signal that you are slowing down, you should, A, flash your brake lights, B, Extend your arm and swing it down to the side. C. Sound your horn. Answer. A. Flash your brake lights. This is a clear signal to drivers behind you that you're slowing down. Question 36. When riding downhill, you should. A. Shift to a lower gear. B. Shift to a higher gear. C. Use the front brake only. Answer. A. Shift to a lower gear. This uses engine braking to help control speed. Question 37. True or false. It's safe to ride directly alongside another motorcycle in the same lane. A. True. B. False. Answer. B. False. Motorcycles should not ride side by side in the same lane as it reduces the space each rider has to maneuver. Question 38. When approaching an intersection, you should A. Increase your speed B. Cover your brakes and be prepared to stop C. Focus only on the traffic lights Answer. B. Cover your brakes and be prepared to stop. This puts you in a better position to react quickly if needed. Question 39. Fill in the blank. In heavy traffic, blank can help you see and be seen. A. Riding in blind spots. B. Weaving between lanes. C. 
positioning yourself for visibility. Answer C. Positioning yourself for visibility. Being in a spot where you can see and be seen is crucial in heavy traffic. Question 40. The best way to communicate with other drivers is through A. Hand signals B. Eye contact C. Your motorcycle's lights and signals Answer C. Your motorcycle's lights and signals. These are universally understood communication methods. Question 41. When should you use your horn? A. To greet friends. B. To signal you are passing. C. When you need to alert others to your presence. Answer. C. When you need to alert others to your presence. The horn should be used for safety, not for casual signaling. Question 42. True or false? You should always perform a pre-ride check. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. A pre-ride check ensures your motorcycle is in good working order. Question 43. To maintain a proper riding posture, you should A. Keep your arms straight. B. Keep your knees away from the gas tank. C. Keep your feet firmly on the footrests. Answer. C. Keep your feet firmly on the footrests. This helps with balance and control. Question 44. When you see animals on or near the road, you should A. Speed up to scare them away. B. Hunk continuously. C. Slow down and proceed with caution. Answer. C. Slow down and proceed with caution. Animals are unpredictable and may enter your path. Question 45. Fill in the blank. Blank. Surfaces can be particularly slippery for motorcycles. A. Painted. B. Asphalt. C. Concrete. Answer. A. Painted. Painted surfaces, like crosswalk lines, can be very slippery, especially when wet. Question 46. True or false? You should avoid the center portion of the lane where oil and fluids accumulate. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. The center of the lane can be slippery due to oil and fluid buildup. Question 47. If your throttle sticks, you should A. Keep twisting it. B. Immediately use the engine kill switch. C. Apply the rear brake hard. Answer. B. Immediately use the engine kill switch. This can prevent uncontrolled acceleration. Question 48. When approaching a blind curve, you should A. Move to the outer edge of the lane. B. Stay in the center of the lane. C. Move to the inner edge of the lane. Answer. A. Move to the outer edge of the lane. This gives you the best view around the curve. Question 49. The most effective protective gear for riders includes A. Helmet, gloves, long pants, and a jacket. B. Shorts and a t-shirt. C. Any clothing as long as it's comfortable. Answer. A. Helmet, gloves, long pants, and a jacket. Proper gear can protect you from injury and the elements. Question 50. True or false? You should check your motorcycle's lights before every ride. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Ensuring your lights work is vital for visibility and communication with other road users.